the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God our Father the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all my dear children and my dear friends welcome to the second day of this Navina in preparation for the nativity of our Blessed Mother today we are reflecting on the virtue of purity Mary most pure God chose Mary to be the mother of her son because she was conceived without any stain of sin Mary gave her body and soul to God as we participate in this Eucharist let us truly ask Mary's loving help that like her we too may serve God with all our mind with all our heart and to prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacrament in a worthy manner let us first examine our conscience and for all our failures with sorrow and contrition in our hearts we say I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault and therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy let us pray God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, when I came to you, it was not with any show of oratory or philosophy, but simply to tell you what God had guaranteed. During my stay with you, the only knowledge I claimed to have was about Jesus and only about him as crucified Christ. Far from relying on any power of my own, I came among you in great fear and trembling. And in my speeches and the sermons that I gave, there were none of the arguments that belong to philosophy only a demonstration of the power of the Spirit. And I did this so that your faith should not depend on human philosophy, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Our response shall be, Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Your command makes me wiser than my foes, for it is mine forever. Our response, Lord, how I love your law. I have more insight than all who teach me, for I ponder your will. I have more understanding than the old, for I keep your precepts. Our response, Lord, how I love your law. I turn my feet from evil paths to obey my, your word. I have not turned away from your decrees. You yourself have taught me. Our response, Lord, how I love your law. Kindly rise for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus came to Nazara where he had been brought up and he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day as he usually did. He stood up to read and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favor. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant and sat down. And all the eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak. The text is being fulfilled today even as you listen. And he won the approval of all. They were astounded by his gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, no doubt you will quote me the saying, Physician, heal yourself, and tell me we have all heard what happened in Capernaum. Do the same here in our country. And he went on, I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged through the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these were cured except the Syrian Naman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. They took him up to the brow of a hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. He slipped to the crowd and walked away. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear children and my dear friends, today we are reflecting on the theme Mary Most Pure. The moment we use the word pure or purity, what comes to our mind? Water most pure or the air when it is pure. The dictionary tells us that pure or purity means there is no contamination. There is no mistake, there is no stain. Pure means perfection, complete, not mixed. So when we call Mary most pure, we have to look at her from the time she was born. From the time she was conceived, she was pure. She was without sin. And why did God do that? The quick answer would be because God wanted to. But the deeper answer is that God wanted Mary to be the mother of his son. And so he preserved her from sin from the time she was conceived. She had a normal birth like any of us to her parents, Joachim and Anne. But God preserved her to be the perfect mother for his son to take flesh. Does that mean that Mary does not require Jesus to be saved? No. Jesus redeemed Mary in a very special way. 
when the angel Gabriel addresses Mary as Hail Mary full of grace the word grace does not mean that Mary was lucky or out of a lottery she was chosen no the word grace means Mary was full of character which pleased God she gave God the first place and so the word grace reflects that God chose Mary he set her apart as mother of his son Mary was so filled with the Holy Spirit that sin did not have any place in her life my dear children and my dear parishioners Mary teaches us how to love and that is what her purity is all about that she gave God the first place even before she was chosen by God she gave God the first place in her life now when we talk of purity we also can try to understand impurity something which is not pure and what is impurity impurity means something which is contaminated something which is spoiled something which is false and when we talk about a person being impure that means the person's heart is divided the person is not true to his calling a Christian who is not true to his calling or her calling for example if we go to church and profess to love God and love our neighbor and yet after church when we come back home we deny God and we deny our loved ones we are not being pure in our intention if we profess to love our parents and take care of our parents and respect our parents but we don't do that we are not being pure we are being impure Pope Francis gives us some beautiful examples on how young people can be pure and the first thing he says is avoid laziness and have a discipline a healthy body is a healthy mind Pope Francis says improper language should be avoided the same tongue which receives the Lord Jesus and praises his name cannot be used for slander for lies or to hurt anyone modesty our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit and so when we dress up in church and in other places of importance we reflect that beauty God has given to each one of us in the way we dress prudence and common sense they say if you put your hands in the fire you will get burnt that means we should always keep in mind the advice of our parents our elders our well-being friends who advise us against certain addictions certain sins the Holy Father also tells young people to always have recourse to prayer daily prayer as an important help to be pure our relationship with Mary should not be limited to rosaries and novenas of course that is beautiful because we seek her loving help but our relationship with Mary has to grow year by year this year do I have a meaningful relationship with mother Mary is she my friend is she my confidant do I take my problems to her let us reflect on that Mary is the mother of creation during these days we are reflecting on this theme and because she is mother of creation we too care for creation Mary nurtured Jesus she nourished him while he was on this earth and our mother earth nourishes us she gives us food and sometimes we sin against mother earth by wasting food by wasting resources we distance ourselves from the poor who do not have food by wasting the food which we receive so today let us pledge to not waste food my dear children and my dear friends as we participate in this Eucharist let us seek the loving help of Mary most pure that we may love God and that we may love our neighbor may God bless us all we will now have the prayer of the faithful our response after every prayer shall be provident God listen to your children praying please repeat provident God listen to your children praying for our Pope bishops priests deacons and religious 
that through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, they may strive to be models of purity to the flock entrusted to them. We pray. Provident God, listen to your children praying. For leaders across the globe, that they may work towards environmentally sustainable projects of development, keeping aside impure temptations of greed and corruption. We pray. Provident Amen. God, listen to your children praying. For our small Christian communities, that we may strive to imitate Mary's purity of heart and thereby bring about renewal in our daily living. We pray. Provident God, listen to your children praying. For us all, especially children, that we may be given wisdom to distinguish between our needs and wants, so that we may be able to do our part in reclaiming the purity of creation. We pray. Provident God, listen to your children praying. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and our human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, children, pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise of for our good, the good of all his church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what we celebrate in mystery it may accomplish in power. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. A response, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Our response, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We thank you for counting us worthy to come before your holy presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis our Pope, Oswald Gracious our Bishop, all our auxiliary bishops and the clergy. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your holy face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer as a prayer of all prayer, as a prayer of all praise and thanksgiving, as a prayer of all trust and surrender. And so we call upon our Heavenly Father, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all anxiety, all fear, all worry, all distress, as we wait in joyful hope. For the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, Kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with Let us share with each other a sign of God's love. Peace be with you. Altogether, Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world. Mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Son of God, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, O Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us take the Novena prayer all together. God, our Heavenly Father, as we prepare to celebrate the birthday of Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus, the Queen of the Universe and Refuge of Sinners, we join now in constant prayer with her as we implore you to heal the sick, to comfort the poor and the sorrowful, to pardon we also pray for ourselves, for our families and friends, for our parish and society, especially for our different needs which we place before you. Pause and make your petitions. Altogether, may you receive our prayers and bless us with a heart like Mary's, full of mercy and compassion, so that like her, we may serve you with faith and love you, who lives and reigns with Jesus your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. My dear children, today we are reflecting on how Mother Earth takes care of us. The United Nations report in 2018 said in India, 40% of food produced is wasted. And that in a year, we waste food to the tune of 50,000 crores. This report came from in 2018 from the United Nations Food Program. What can we do? That we can be the change, we can stop wasting food.
So let our activity for today and the days to come be to take what we need and to eat what we have on our plate, to not waste food. And even if food remains, to use it in a good way. We have stray animals, the stray dogs, the stray cats, so many stray animals around us. We can use this extra food for them. Let this be our activity for today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go with Mary, our mother, to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. For me, Mama Mary is the most beautiful, most purest, sweetest and blessed among all creation of God. Mama Mary is my heavenly mother who Jesus has given to me and she is my confidant. As a mother, Mother Mary is a role model for me. Mother Mary is a woman who plays a variety of different roles. She is a mother, a daughter, a sister and a wife. For me, Mother Mary is someone who helps me when I'm stuck in any difficult situation. For me, Mother Mary is an ocean of love. Mother Mary plays an important role in believing in God's plan. For me, Mother Mary is the symbol of peace who showers her blessing on children. For me, Mother Mary is like a mentor every time. Man can live as an island. Journeying through life alone Since we are most loved by a mother Jesus gave us his own Be with us Mary along the way Guide every step we take Lead us to Jesus your loving soul Come with us Mary home